What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Beholder. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. It's been out for a little while and continue to check out this game. It's getting a console release pretty soon. And so I figured we'd check on back in. The game has had DLCs and everything else. They've announced a sequel. And so I'm pretty stoked about it. This is one of those games that I really like the art direction and I really like what the game was on the total. I actually, there wasn't a whole lot of things I had to complain about in this game. I got reasonably far. I beat the demo and that's the last time I played it is you played the first 10 days or something like that in the demo and I really like some of the moral quandaries they gave you about like snitching on people versus being like well my daughter needs a doctor therefore if I snitch on the doctor and he gets arrested my daughter's gonna die of an illness but he is doing illegal shit like it, it was an interesting title and I liked that and it kind of forced you into a moral corner where you were like well I'm gonna look out for my family then uh, kind of an interesting thing what I'd like to do early on in the game right now is I want to get myself wired on in let's go to the store and I'd like to buy, we've got cameras, so those are rank 2 cameras right there, that's the good stuff. Moderate viewing range, a wide viewing range, and videotaping is available. Okay, I don't know what an, electri an electrician's kit does, but I assume it does something for me. We've also got a cabinet maker's kit. So I'm going to buy both of those right now, because I don't know what they do, but I don't want to be stuck trying to get one whenever it happens. In addition, we'll get three more cameras for right now, that still leaves us with a little reserve of our respect from the government so that we can do our thing and we needed to talk to some people so I need to talk to my wife that's the first and foremost thing and that's the hallmark of a successful relationship right there you gotta communicate bit by bit piece by piece let's go ahead and talk to Anna Stein what Carl uh, domestic problems I need your help honey I can't find a big enough saucepan I've searched every nook and cranny I have no idea where it is someone stole it should we call the police call the police because of an old saucepan don't even think of it you gotta left it in our old house if you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Ooh, compote's good. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Basically, it's just a reduction. That's all that a compote is. is. You take, like, fruit sauce and you, like, reduce it in a pan, and it gets a lot stronger. You put it on bread and whatnot. Compotes are good. Yes, father? Uh, do you need anything? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economics classes have started, and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore, but they don't have any of them. I heard I can get the used ones on the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has the books. You talk to wise people. All right. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Now, we've got that right there. Let's go ahead and jump in on this side. And trust and care. Uh, he needs books on economics for Patrick. Anna wants to borrow a pot from the neighbor, and then we need to talk to our daughter as well. Alright, I think the clock keeps running when I'm on menus, and so I'm gonna have to be careful about that. I don't even know where my daughter is right now. It looks like it's 6 o'clock at night, so chances are everybody is home. Yeah, so they're over here talking about something. I'm gonna keep an eye on them for right now. I don't know where my daughter ran off to, but I'm assuming she's maybe at school or something like that. Uh, we got some kind of posters over here. I think people hang up propaganda posters or something like that, and you got to fix the problem. Uh, who lives here? So those two live here. I'm going to have to wait until they leave. We've got the shady salesman over here. I do have a lot of money, and so maybe I'll be able to get the economics books from him. Possibly. Uh, let's see here. My compliments. Uh, you want this canned food? Do you need a quarter of canned food? The price is 50 cans for 4000 It's imported? Why are the cans dented? I'll take it. It's always in demand. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you the money then. All right. Sounds good. And then we'll trade. Let me see if he's got any economics books. Uh, the Great Life of Our Beloved Leader. That's a book about the dear leader. Okay, so that's not going to be that helpful. Aside from that, we've got ties and some other stuff. Uh, books on economics. They cost 2000 but I'm going to go ahead and buy them. I'm sure there was probably a simpler way for me to get my hands on that, but... No question about it. I'm going to go ahead and take care of business. I'm also going to use this opportunity to wire up their house if I can. Uh, so I've got the books for my son. I'll give those to him in a little bit. Uh, what do you have? Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. It's, so, it's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll. Can you help me find it? Oh, you scared me. Where did you last play with it? At home. Naira's too small to walk outside. Please find her. Okay, let's have a look around. I'll look through the house and see if we can find the doll. We've got a duck. We've got a watch and a wallet. Don't think that's going to be helpful. Let's check this over here. They're all going to work, and so I'm going to wire up their houses with cameras while they're gone. We've got towels, and we've got eyeglasses. Okay. Uh, there's nothing back here. Let me check the couch real fast. We can also check the stuff in the back of the house. 
to make things a little easier. Uh, book, dates, other info, nothing of interest. Check the bed real quick. Looks like everybody's headed on out. I'll try and install the better cameras. A diary and a watch. Let's go ahead and check inside that cabinet right there. And that is an old doll. My wife played with this doll. She calls it Naira. So that's the one. Uh, let's give that to our daughter as soon as possible. Go ahead and move your ass over there, man. If you can move, you can move. Uh, here's the doll. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. I thought of a great game. Want me to tell you about it? Nairo will be a miner buried under rubble, and I'll be the rescuer. What a game. You better play it with your letter blocks. I could build a coal mine out of letter blocks. Okay, that works. Uh, let's get up in here, and I need to rewire this place, like, right now. So let's get inside. There shouldn't be anybody here. There we go. It seems like they have most of their conversations on this side. So I'm going to wire that up with a Tier 2 camera. And then after we do that, we're going to wire this one up right here. So there's a Tier 2 camera. Uh, are they here right now? Who came back? Hold on. Hopefully it wasn't the old folks. I'm not going to stand next to the door hella obvious either. Oh, it's my son. Okay. I've got the economics books too, so that'll work out. We had the cash to make that happen, so yes, Father. Here is the school books. Here are your books. Wow, I'll get back to work. I never even dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Hey, what are you talking about going to the rat's nest? Hold on. Uh, go ahead and unlock that door right there. I'm going to get a second camera set up on this side. Third camera will throw into one of these places up here. And I'm going to go through their stuff real fast. Come on, get in there. We got a shirt and a comb. Actually, I'll save the, uh, I'll save the espionage for later. Let's go ahead and get the cameras rigged up so that we can see what's going on. Over on this side, we've got access to a cabinet. They tend to have most of their conversations right there, so I think that'll work out. He smokes. Oh, he's got coffee. Never mind. There's a theater mask. A famous novel, judging by the corner, it's more than just propaganda. That's a comb right there. Okay, I don't know if I should be stealing this stuff and selling it to the black market to make more money. I don't know if that's a good idea. A ship model, a foreign letter and names and dates and all that kind of stuff. Let's get out of here before they come back inside. I'm going to go outside and head them off, see if I can slow them down with a little bit of a conversation. Uh, we've gathered a decent amount of information on this individual. I don't know specifically what they wanted me to know about him. That might also be for his wife, though. So she's theater, she loves coffee, and she's corresponding with foreigners. Do we have a directive that's against... So let's see here. Do we have a directive that's against... This guy. It's illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. Yeah, we haven't seen that so far. Apples are illegal. Uh, we've got production of political propaganda. It's illegal to harbor criminals. Okay, we don't have anything so far that's illegal on them. But it worked out okay. Uh, the other apartment that we got to watch out for is I needed to talk to people, I think. About the saucepan. Now let's go ahead and start the game back up here. Close that down. I'll talk to Rosa first. Good afternoon. I'll get acquainted. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rosa Rannick. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Uh, do you know anything about a saucepan? Do you have a large saucepan, miss? Uh, my wife left hers at our old house, and our daughter is asking for a compote. No, dear. My husband and I have lived alone for many years. We don't need anything large. I took everything to the second hand shop a long time ago. Okay, what about Klaus? He's a person of worth. He helped me acquire a nice bottle of Zeri's. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Okay, so that's a little bit of information right there. Let's talk to Klaus. How you doing, sir? I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager already turned it into a junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Uh, do you know anything about a saucepan? Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You should talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. The ceilings are so low, I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior economist. Those days are long gone. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ask about the suspicions of the authorities. That seems a little ham-fisted and obvious. I'll end the conversation right there, and we'll talk to Martha, or Maria. Uh, you know anything about a saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote, but we lost our saucepan moving in. I have a suitable one. Here it is. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone, and we don't touch it. So uh, please accept this as a housewarming gift. Nice. Well, at least my family won't be mad at me. Let's ask this guy about Klaus. Uh, my name is Carl. I'm the new manager. 
Mark Rannick is a, suspe or is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than I do. Okay. Uh, do you know about Klaus? Why do you want to know? Um, I'll give him a vague reply. I don't really know anything that you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who's always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Okay, well, I guess that's that. He don't want to talk to me right now, but we do have cameras set up. Uh, the trip abroad. You're leaving your house soon? Do I have that right? Yeah, we're about to leave. The barge is ready, and we're waiting for the outside affairs committee to instruct the crew. Where are you headed? Through the Bay to the South, then towards the Nil Sea. Have you been there? Or have you been to Cher? Now, nah, this city? This is the largest trade port city. It's had free governance for the last decade. We'll stay in the port for a week to unload coal and take walks. We'll see then. Okay. Um, what if I tell him the truth? I'll give him the truth. It's my duty. I've seen Klaus buying modeling kits at the store. They have no kids. I thought it was a gift. After that, I saw him wrap a box in paper and run home. I thought he bought it for himself. Thanks, Mark. You've been a big help. So what specifically did they want to know about Klaus Schimmer? Like, what did they want to know about him? Like, I'm wondering what specific information they wanted to know about him. So we've got the pot. Uh, talk with Shimmer's wife. Okay, we'll do that next. I guess that's the, uh, the goal there. He smokes. We've added that to the list, so now we know that he smokes. And we also know that Mark Rannick smokes. Where is Maria Shimmer? There she is right there. Alright, let's go talk to Maria. Uh, I'd like to know about your husband. Is your husband doing okay? He looked upset. Ah, uh, he isn't feeling well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. He likes taking photos. That'll cheer him up. Okay, looks like a plan. Let's go ahead and give the thing to our wife real fast because happy wife, happy life as the saying goes. Here's the saucepan. Uh, yeah, I got it from Maria Shimmer. Spare no sugar for the compote. It looked like water last time. It looks like water because we don't have sugar or apples. It's not my fault you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. We have enough sugar. So that's done. I gotta watch out for this dude over here. But I think that's everything. I need to profile him. Alright, let's go over here and we'll create a profile of Mr. Shimmer that we'll keep inside of our little file for later on. Uh, Mr. Shimmer. Let's go ahead and pull him on up. We will profile a tenant. Uh, Mr. Shimmer is living in apartment. He's the ex-owner of the apartment building. Let me look at my people's list here. He's in apartment one. So there's apartment one. He's male. He is living with Maria Shimmer. His occupation is that he is a tobacco salesman. And then our collected materials about him go right here. So he's building models, taking pictures, and we've got a new directive right there. We'll send that on over, and hopefully we'll get a nice little paycheck for it. We have a new directive that we've got to look at. So let's look at the directive. It is illegal to use foreign currency. Well, then it's only a matter of time before foreign correspondence becomes a crime, uh, because that's usually the first thing they do right there. Uh, we need to report the completion of our task. So we'll leave our workplace. Let's dial him up on the phone. And that's another little thing that we've gotten done right there. We're such a good little lackey. Such a fantastic little bootlicker. We'll report our task. It's time to act, comrade. You must evict Klaus Schimmer. Uh, eviction methods. How can I evict him? Talk with Schimmer. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates the directives. This is your duty, comrade Carl. Okay, what about Schimmer's wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. Alright, so we've got to kick them out. He's on the phone with somebody at the moment. These guys are down here eating dinner. Probably be a little while before that becomes anything larger. How much is it going to cost me to set this place up? Apartment 4 to repair it is going to cost $500. We have $1,800. Can I do anything else with the other apartments to make them nicer? Like, can I do upgrades or anything like that to make people more malleable? We got 240 hours for the ministry order. Let me go ahead and knock on the door and we'll talk with him and see what quest he has. So he's going to come answer the door and it's kind of a rough thing for him right now because the ministry's painted a target on his back. And I'm a nice guy. I don't like all this Gestapo shit. 
And so, like, I'm going to try and make this work as successfully as possible. Uh, let's ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. That's not so bad. Have you seen the living quarters on level D? You're right. Our situation could be worse, and at least we're free. One can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. Okay. What else you got going on? Do you need anything? Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? I did. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. But my problem shouldn't bother you. Thank you for the warning. What are you going to do? How can I help you? Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? I'm not asking out of curiosity. I legitimately want to help. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand. What's an absentee certificate? You should know these things, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all closed to me. Okay, why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the Archives for the data update. They said I could obtain them there. I went to the Archives and they said there are no documents left. I spent a week in line to see the Inspector about submitting a detection application. Two months later, I was told I used the wrong form for the application, and they were out of the one that I needed. Damn it! You mean the documents are lost in the Archives? Yeah, they're lost in the Archives. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if it's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the Archives. Okay, let me see what I can do about the absentee certificate. The guy on the second floor works at the archives. I think, didn't it say he was an archivist? And so I think he works at the archives. Let's see if he's home and see how we can help people out here. He's actually sleeping at the moment. Okay, it is late at night, so that makes sense. It's like 5 in the morning. So most people are sleeping at 5 in the morning. Even the most hardened night owl like myself is uh, sleeping at this hour. So I'll give him a pass on that one. You got rats and other things over there. He's drinking coffee. It's wake-up time. I want to talk to the archivist and see what I can do for him before too long. Watching the cameras over here is going to make my life a little bit smoother. Before we have anything else to take care of, I need to get their house wired with cameras as well. I don't know what shady shit's going to happen around here, but I want to make sure I have cameras all over the place. Because we can use the observation for good as well. Sometimes people won't open up and tell you information and you see it on camera, and then you can conceal that from the government so that you can help them with whatever their problem is. I know it seems like a slippery slope playing around with observation like that, but, I mean, if we're stuck in this situation either way, we might as well use our powers for good. What, Carl? Chocolate candy? I talk with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy things from him. Things, antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I don't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you say about the traitor? They say he's selling some household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me a perfume soap she bought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Okay, do you need the soap? We have an entire box of coltar soap I bought with our ration cards. You're unbearable, Car. A rope around your neck would serve you well. Jesus, man! This relationship is not going well. Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had a treat for months. Sweets aren't a big deal. I'll go get some. Take a deep breath. God damn, dude. She told me to go hang myself. She was like, yo, you don't listen to me enough. KYS. I was like, damn. That guy heated real fast. Oh, what's going on over here? You, sir. What do you want from the archivist? I want to help Shimmer. Do you work in the archives? What's it to you? You, don't, you know this even without me. I need your help. One good man can obtain a document from the archives. What are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. Uh, Klaus Schimmer. Apartment 1. He fell from grace with the state. They took his absentee certificate and now he's stuck here. I don't like him. He works in the tobacco shop but has never given me tobacco for free. He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's terrified. Help me. Bring his absentee certificate. They can't live without it. Deal. But you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I won't be able to access the confiscated documents without it. Okay, so we need a bottle of whiskey. We'll do our best to find one of those from wherever I can get it from. What's up with this thing right here? Is there anything inside the plant? I didn't even realize I could loot the plant. I guess not. Maybe I can hide a listening device in there or something like that. 
or put it behind a poster. Uh, so I need to talk to this guy today so that we can get the money from the exchange that we had. And then I need to talk to... I'll try and steal from the sailor first since he's leaving anyways. Uh, let me go into his apartment real fast. This guy will be here for a little bit, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Will that lady notice if I go into somebody else's apartment? I don't know. Let's go talk to Nathan Keller, too. See what he's got going on. He should have our money for us. Hey, my compliments. You got the money for the canned food? Your canned food isn't selling well. It's hard to get rid of. I made no money. Here's an envelope with half the money. Say thank you even for this. Ugh. All right. I took the easy way out, and I think I paid for it. Uh, you got any chocolate bars? There's one. Buy a couple of those just in case I need them. We'll give those to our daughter in just a minute. We only got half the money, so I'm sure the sailor's going to be pissed at us, but... Can't really do anything about that. Let's have a look around for any of the whiskey or whatever else that we might need. Uh, we've got a wine bottle right there. I'm going to go ahead and... Attention, people who steal belongings of others will be prosecuted under law. Okay. I haven't been caught yet, though. Maybe I'm on camera, however. That might not work out very well. Uh, we've got a passport, deck of cards. Nothing so far. He'll probably have the whiskey if I can't get it over here. I've already got the broken bottle taken care of, so I'm not going to concern myself with that. Let's rifle through the tray very, or very rapidly. Toothpaste. Nothing going on. I probably mentally should document where some of this stuff is, but frankly... Ah, there we go. We got whiskey. So there's the whiskey. Uh, we didn't do it on camera. We should be solid right there. We'll give that to the archivist. That'll make our life a little bit easier. Let's go up to the archivist room. Let's get him rigged up with at least a camera before he gets home. Uh, so there's the candy for my daughter. Uh, there's the candy. Your mom asked me to buy you some sweets. She said she's never eaten anything like this before. I'm waiting for you to buy them. Mommy will give me one each time I have tea. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to give them to the mother. There's my wife. Uh, there's the sweets for Martha. I just asked you to buy chocolate for our little one. I didn't even ask for a bar of strawberry perfume soap for myself. It's okay, I'll buy the sweets. Wait, I have the sweets. I have a chocolate bar right there. Hold on. I bought chocolate. I have it. Why is that not working? Hmm. Uh, let me buy some stuff from the market. We have respect. So let me get another two cameras so that I have a whole bunch of those ready to go. I, I have the candy. Why don't you want the candy? So we, she wants strawberry soap, maybe. So I need Shimmer's Papers from Rannick. I've got candy for my wife. She deserves a treat. I have candy. So what was the specific thing she wanted? Strawberry perfume soap. Alright, well, I'll see if I can find the strawberry perfume soap then. Got a bunch of people coming back in. I need to talk to Rannick because I've got his whiskey. Uh, here's that. Here's the bottle of whiskey. Good choice. I'll get the paper. Come back later. Alright, so that's done. What else did he want? Uh, what's about your wife? Rosa works in the cafeteria, always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cakes so much that she does it for a living. Wish she didn't smell like cabbage. <laughs> your wife smells like farts. Everybody comes around and they're like, Did somebody fart in here? Oh, nope, that's just his wife. <laughs> You've got a fart wife. Uh, I will ask about your son. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. Like a boss. Uh, so long ago. What about your husband? He's been working in the archives. He deals with a lot of paper, but not people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Okay. Looks good to me. I've got to figure out how to get the chocolate candy, I guess. I have the candy. I don't know how to give it to her. But I guess that's that. We also have the ministry order, and we got a bit of time to play around with that. Uh, you, I've got your money. I dare you to throw me. I'll knock that little sense out of you. Yep, here's the envelope. It's only 1500 We agreed on twice as much. What did you use to listen to me, or don't you know how to count? The traitor framed me. What's next? I give you a crate full of cans, and you don't give and you give me money. Uh. You better keep the matter quiet. 
I'll go to the government on you. How dare you talk to an officer of the state that way? You'll pay for this, bugger. I won't. I won't pay for it at all. You better hope I don't see you snitching or doing anything wrong. You better keep your ass intact, homie. You better keep your shit buttoned down. I'm coming for you. Give me that lip after you give me them busted ass cans of food with mold and all kinds of weird flaky toenails and shit in them. I ain't afraid of you. You're getting some. I'm watching you all day long. You better believe. I'm going to sit right here with my eye in the keyhole. Mm-hmm. I think he just stashed something over there. I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go find out what it is. I bet it's apples. We're going to get this guy locked up. Mm-hmm. Peeking through the keyhole. It's not you, it's me, ho. How long do I have on the chocolate candy? Does it have a time limit on it? It doesn't. What's he doing? He's up to something. I gotta stop spying real fast. Oh, he's moving out. I wonder if he's gonna snitch and cause a problem for me. New government directive acquired. Uh, what's going on here? Imported soda is now prohibited. So foreign currency and soda. <laughs> He's done with me. He's moving the hell on out. Alright. Uh, I think he wrecked up the apartment and stole a bunch of stuff. Let's fix it. And let's move somebody in. Aloysius Spack. A right, famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental. Guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Well, there it is. Aloysius now lives here. Good for him. Aloysius all day, every day. And we are out of time. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Beholder. If you like what you saw so far, uh, I like this game a lot. I think this game is fun and it plays around with the dystopian trope uh, in a way that makes the player feel engaged and makes you feel like you're inside of a really screwed up system and you're just trying to make the best of the situation. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do everybody, and I will see you all in the next episode. If you wanted to get it for yourself, link's down below. Wanted to support me, hit the like button. That's the best way to do it. Or you can go to Patreon and support me that way. Uh, aside from that, bye-bye, everybody.